A couple of years ago, rich text format was a glorified feat to attain in computing. And when we did get there, file exchange was a different deal altogether. People will often reconvert a file type or simply ask developers to support that file type just to encourage and foster an ecosystem that would bring about the ease and fluid access to documents. With softwares like Microsoft Word, OpenOffice, LibreOffice taking center stage over tools like Wordstar, Apple Lisa, and so on, there is now a more reliable rich text format that makes interoperability easier for top party tools. And in context to what we have today, this is similar to what the folks at NVIDIA are looking at. At the just concluded SIGGRAPH 2022, the folks at NVIDIA have announced that its cross-platform material definition language, MDL, is now open source. This comes as NVIDIA is poised at making the MDL distiller, the OpenGL shader language backend, and MDL SDK available as open source. This move is to better and further expand the MDL ecosystem and is refreshing to see that this process which had begun in 2018 has now finally come to completion. NVIDIA did develop the MDL to ensure that physically based material displayed consistently in different versions of NVIDIA's own renderer and we're looking at iRay and also MentaRay. With MDL in constant development, its adoption across DCC app has been well received from material creation tools all the way to game authoring tools like Unreal Engine. And from the press release, the folks at NVIDIA are saying that the new open source OpenGL shader language backend technology provides MDL support to render engine developers building on OpenGL or Vulkan, closing the gap to establish graphic API standards. The MDL distiller and OpenGL shader language backend would enable many developers to leverage the power of MDL, the ability to share physically based material between supporting applications, coupled with the flexibility of use in renderers and platforms like NVIDIA Omniverse is a key advantage of MDL. This flexibility saves time and effort in many workflows and pipeline. And if you look at this closely, this begins to make more sense. It will be super interesting in months and of course years to come when shader sharing would be as easy as sharing a word document so instead of reshading an element an asset or maybe an entire scene from scratch when switching from one dcc app to another it would simply be super reasonable if all render engines and dcc apps can effortlessly recognize a given shader and simply render the shaded asset of course we do have the lambats the fongs and also the blink shader but times have evolved and mdl seems to be taking center stage just like microsoft word took center stage when it came to word processing and with the ever expanding metaverse that is coming MDL seems to be a much more suitable and flexible shading language I believe many tools and DCC would definitely adapt over time. So making it open source is just one way to allow everyone to contribute to this and make it grow even better. And yes, I do understand that most apps are gradually adopting Vulkan over OpenGL for viewport rendering. MDL as a universal final render shader across DCC apps would definitely be great. At the time of recording, the MDL SDK webpage still lists the open source release of MDL Distiller as coming soon. And in terms of licensing, the source code of the MDL SDK is available under the BSD 3 clause license. And for anyone who would like to download these and work with it, the compiled libraries of the latest version of the MDL SDK 2021.1.4 is currently available for both Linux, Windows, and also Mac users. So, for those who are interested about this or probably you want to read up and catch up with all of this beautiful and lovely stuff that is happening, then you can simply take a look at the link in the description and check this out for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.